So now we're going to talk about how to tell if a polynomial is prime. So I have a polynomial up on the board, x squared plus 6x minus 8. If you're a fan of guess and check, a lot of people would jump into this problem and answer x plus 2, x plus 4, and not realize they just got the problem wrong. Okay? This is a trick one. Like I tend to like to put this on my test just for guess and check people that don't want to actually check and do the multiplication to make sure their answer is actually correct. If you do the AC method, this shouldn't give you any problems at all. You should get through your AC chart and by the end of that you'll know that this is prime. So the first thing we always want to check is, is there a GCF? If there is a GCF, it's not prime because you're able to factor it somewhat. Maybe not as far as you normally can, but a little bit of factoring is still some factoring. 1, 6, and 8, there's no GCF number-wise because there's not a number at the very beginning. X squared, X, and no X, there's not a GCF letter-wise because there's not a letter in all of them. So there is no GCF. So the first thing we need to do is to identify what AC is. AC is your first one times your last one when they're in the correct order. X squared has to come up front, X has to be in the middle, and the constant number without a variable has to be at the end. Okay? If there's an equal sign, they all have to be on the same side of the equal sign. So AC is 1 times a negative 8. Don't ignore your negatives. That is an extremely important part of this process. So AC is negative 8. B is a positive 6. So when we create our chart, you want factors of AC and you want the sum of those factors. And remember, we want our sum to be B. So keep things consistent. Always start the same way. Start with the number one. One and what number? Multiply to make a negative eight. No, one and negative eight. Okay. One plus a negative eight. So negative seven. That is not B. Okay. One didn't work. Go to the number two. 2 times what number is a negative 8? Negative 4. Be very careful with your signs. 2 plus a negative 4? Negative 2? We want positive 6. Still not B. Okay? So 1 didn't work, 2 didn't work. Let's try 3. 3 times what is 8? No even number. So 3 doesn't work. The number 4, we've already used 4. If I try, well, 4 times what is a negative 2. And then I'm going to do 5, it won't work. 6 won't work. 7 won't work. 8 times negative 1, it's just repeating itself. 4 and the negative 2 is going to give me a 2. 8 and the negative 1 is going to give me a 7. If we can repeat a number and we haven't gotten B, whether it's the right sign or not, we can work with it the wrong sign. If you get B with the wrong sign, then entire row change every sign. But we haven't even been able to get the 6, even a negative 6. You can repeat the number and write it twice without skipping any, and then it is prime. We tried 1, it didn't work. We tried 2, it didn't work. 3 doesn't divide evenly, 4 has already been written in the other column. Because this is written down twice, we know it is a prime polynomial. If one of these had come out to be with the wrong sign, again, you just change all the signs and then it'll work. But since we could not get any factors of a negative 8 that add to make a positive 6, the polynomial is prime. So AC works to tell you if it will work, if it will factor, and it will tell you if it cannot factor. There is no more guessing. We don't want to guess math because we tend to guess and get things wrong. 
This way you have concrete proof every time it will work the exact same way. Thanks.